New at five, discipline debate. Nearly two weeks ago, a 10 on your side special report uncovered alarming numbers of suspensions in Portsmouth. Now there's a push by state lawmakers to do something about it. Four bills have been introduced, two in the House, two in the Senate. And two Portsmouth leaders agree suspensions are a problem, but disagree on how they should be addressed. Then your side's Brandy Cummings talked to both of them today. Brandy. Tom Anita, at issue here is two points whether long term suspension should be limited to 45 days and whether students in lower grades should be suspended or expelled for certain offenses. It's been a war of words brewing on social media between two Portsmouth leaders. NAACP President James Boyd posted his support of two bills, but school board member Cardell Patillo wrote against them. It's unfair uh, for the state to write a bill to dictate to local schools how to control the discipline in their buildings. We believe that school suspensions have uh, gone out of control across the Commonwealth. The bills, sponsored by Republicans, two in the House, two in the Senate, mirror each other to address discipline. If passed by lawmakers, one bill would reduce the maximum length of long-term suspension from 364 calendar days to 45 school days. That is adequate time to send a message to a child that the actions that they did were wrong if it is a behavior issue. The other bill would prohibit students in preschool through fifth grade from being suspended or expelled except for drug offenses, firearm offenses, or certain criminal acts. We feel that this is the right foundation and traction for us to finally gain some uh, um, real difference on this issue. A 10 on your side investigation revealed of the more than 20,000 students across Hampton Roads who received suspensions last year, Portsmouth Public Schools suspended the highest percentage. Patillo agrees it's a problem that must be addressed, but says these bills are not the way. So really the argument shouldn't be whether kids should be suspended or not. It should be how can we come up with the funding to help these schools come up with alternative methods. The Virginia Education Association also opposes the bills as written, saying through email, quote, we are concerned about the strict limits on a school's ability to suspend. Now, these bills are still a long way from becoming law. Education committees will debate them this week in Richmond. If they pass there, they move on to the full House and Senate for a vote. Leaders are encouraging all citizens to contact their delegates and senators to voice your opinion. Live in the newsroom, I'm Brandi Cummings, 10 on your side.